Hi everyone, today we'll find the coordinates of the centroid. So first let's be very clear on what a centroid of a triangle is. So a centroid is the point of intersection of medians of a triangle. So if you have a triangle like this, say ABC, so that the coordinates of ABC are given and these are x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3. Now let's construct the medians of the triangle to see where a centroid might lie. So what are medians of a triangle? Medians of a triangle are simply the line segments that connects one vertex to the midpoint of opposite side. So let's see it. Let's make our one vertex A. Then it is a line segment that connects one vertex to the midpoint of opposite side. So let's say this is the midpoint of BC. This is the midpoint of AC. And this is the midpoint of AB. Then the line segment connecting A with the mid tilt of BC is this. So this is one median. Now if we take from B, then this would be another median because this connects to the midpoint of AC and the third median would be this one. And as you can see, all the medians, they intersect at one point. And this special point is what we call as a centroid. So let's write it as G. And there's a very special property with the centroid. And that is, the centroid always cuts the median in the ratio 2 is to 1 respectively. So it cuts this median in the ratio 2 is to 1, it will cut this median in the ratio 2 is to 1, and it will also cut this median in the ratio 2 is to 1. Now, the minute we have a ratio in the picture, somehow it becomes slightly clear to me that I can use a section formula here. So to use section formula, let's focus on just one median right now. So let's focus on this median. So we have uh, this median here. Let's say the coordinates of a centroid is x, comma y. So now I know the ratio. It is 2 is to 1. I know one coordinate x1, comma y1. If I get the coordinate of the second point, then I can get the coordinate of g or the centroid. Because this is known. The ratio is known. I just need to know the coordinates of the second point. And actually, that is also known because we have the information that it is the midpoint of BC. So since it is a midpoint of BC, we can say, let it be M, then M is the midpoint of BC, thus the coordinate of M would be x2 plus x3 divided by 2, comma y2 plus y3 divided by 2. And now our question is very easy, because now let's just isolate and see the picture. So we have a line like this, with two points A and M, I'll connect the line, then I have a point in between that cuts this line in the ratio 2 is to 1. Now we also know the coordinates of A and M. Here A is x1, comma y1 and M is x2 plus x3 divided by 2, comma y2 plus y3 divided by 2. So we have all the information needed, that is, so we have all the information needed to put a section formula. So let's write the ratio. So we have AG divided by GB is equal to 2 is to 1 is equal to M by N. So we have taken this as the ratio where 2 is our M and this is our N. And now let's write the section formula. So we have the section formula as GXY is equal to M into X2 plus N into X1 divided by M plus N. So here X1 is the coordinates of this point, the X coordinate of this point. So we have this as the point X1 comma Y1. And x2, comma y2, capital X2, comma y2, are the coordinates of this point. So don't get confused between this x and this x. This is the capital x2, comma y2, and you have small x2 plus x3 divided by 2. So here what it mentions is this entire coordinate. So m into this entire coordinate plus n into x1. So this is this coordinate divided by m plus n, comma m into y2, so which is this entire coordinate, plus n into y1, so this is this coordinate, divided by m plus n. So all we need to do now is put in the values. So we know the value of m is 2, and x2, capital X2, is x2 plus x3 divided by 2, whereas n is 1, and capital X1 is x1. So let's just write it. We have 2 into x2 plus x3 divided by 2, plus 1, into x1 divided by 2 plus 1. 
So that would be the x coordinate. Let's do the same for the y coordinate. So it will be 2 into y2 plus y3 divided by 2 plus 1 into y1 divided by 2 plus 1. So now all we need to do is make the calculation. So here we can cut 2 from the numerator and the denominator. So this is done. And here also we can cut the 2 from the numerator and the denominator. So ultimately what will be left with would be x1 because it is just multiplied with 1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3. And here also we will be left with y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3. So ultimately what we get is this. And that's really it. And this is such a convenient formula because it's just the summation of x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3 and the y coordinate is y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3. So going back to our original question that if this is a triangle and this is a centroid then the coordinates of centroid is known. If the coordinates of A, B, C are known and that is x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3 comma y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3. And that's all there is to it. Thank you.